Well, as I brought my message to an end that day, I explained why I placed the card on every seat. But first, I asked them a question. And let me just ask you the same question. What would it look like right now if all your baggage became visible? Not your purse or your groceries, but your internal baggage. The things we hide from one another. What would that look like for you? You know, sometimes when trauma happens when we're young or, you know, we don't know how to process it, we just bury it. We just push it into the cellar of our soul and we find a way to go on. Perhaps that's true of you. So let me ask you again, what would it look like if wherever you're sitting right now, suddenly all that baggage became visible? But then I asked a follow-up question and let me ask you the same question. If you saw how much stuff you've been dragging around with you every single day of your life, would you want to keep it? In the quietness that morning and now, I asked them and you, reflect on your life, on the things that are just honestly weighing you down. Then I asked them to pick up the cards and write down the things they no longer wanted to carry. I told them, you know, don't put your name on it, but just write down what you no longer want to carry. And I reminded them of the glorious exchange that Christ has offered each one of us. I'm sure you know this verse. It's actually the last two verses of Matthew chapter 11. Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I'm humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. <laughs>